In this project, we'll be designing a smart sensing device that sits within the sole of your shoe or boot and monitors your weight distribution and position in real time. It can be used to improve performance and in the prevention of injury for a wide variety of sports. I just happen to use mine for skiing. For more details beyond this tutorial, see the website kabu.com. We start by designing and creating the soles. A template for the insole was designed using Fusion 360. This provides the locations for the sensing material as well as for the copper tape. I 3D printed the template as a base for my insole, but you could just as easily cut one from card. Begin by laying copper tape along the tracks indicated on the template, leaving an additional amount of tape to be folded back on itself to attach to the sensors. These will carry the signal from each of the four sensors. Trim or fold back any excess tape at the heel of the sole. Unfold the VeloStat material and cut out four equally sized squares to be used for the sensors. Attach each square to the sole using the folded back copper tape. As we will be measuring resistance across the VeloStat, sandwiched between two copper traces, we need to insulate the first layer, which we can do using electrical tape. Cover over everything but the VeloStat sensors, as we'll be connecting more copper tape to these shortly. Leave a small space at the sole of the shoe so that we can solder our data cables. Cut your data cable to an appropriate length, remembering it must travel to the outside of the boot. Solder each cable individually to the copper traces. A fifth cable should be spare and will be used to provide voltage to the upper layer. Secure these wires in place using hot glue. The upper layer of the sole is used to connect each of the sensors to a voltage supply. Do this by attaching copper tape to each of the sensors in parallel. Solder the remaining cable directly to this tape at the back of the heel. Once again, be sure to secure this point with plenty of hot glue as these joints will weaken over time. Crimp a connector to the end of the cable to complete the insole. Next, let's take a closer look at the electronics. For this project we will be using an ESP32 as it has numerous analog inputs as well as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. The circuit is connected as shown in this schematic, with the signals from the sensors going to the analog input pins of the ESP32 via 10K pull down resistors, with a push switch used to control power from a 7.4V LiPo battery and a WS2812 LED to provide visual feedback on the status of the sensors. Optionally, connect up an MU6050 accelerometer and gyroscope to provide additional information on the angle and orientation of your boots. Links to all the parts required for this project can be found in the description below. Constructing your circuit on a proof board will save some space, allowing it to fit in a 3D printable housing later. It also allows you to connect and remove components, which is useful when troubleshooting. Attach the battery to the circuit, being careful to observe the correct polarity. Place the completed circuit within the 3D printed housing. Connect the sensor to your PC using a USB cable. Upload the sketch and configure the Blink app, more details of which can be found in the description below. Pop on the lid and connect the cable and you should be good to go. Now let's install our sensor. Place the insole directly into the boot on top of the existing inner shell. Next attach the electronics housing to the power strap of the boot using the clip. Finally, connect the insole to the transmitter using the cable. Your sensing insole is now installed and we're almost good to go. First, we need to calibrate our sensors. Before switching on, hold your foot above the ground 
and in the same orientation as your opposite boot. Press the power button and wait for the solid green light to indicate that the calibration is complete. If for any reason one of the connections to the sensors is lost, the LED will light red to indicate this. Load the Blink app and you should now be able to monitor in real time the pressure applied to each of the four sensors. From the Angle tab within the app, you should be able to monitor the pitch, roll and yaw of each boot individually. If for any reason you need to recalibrate, switch off the device and follow the calibration procedure again or use the Calibrate button from within the app. And that completes this tutorial. For more details and more projects like this, see the website kabu.com. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.